I just got my new SCOBY. I got my tea bags. I got my jar. I got my water. And I got my honey. Now, how do I work with a SCOBY? Oh, dang. That's not this video. I'm sorry. All right. Wrong video. Wrong video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wrong video. I'm sorry, fam. I don't know what I was thinking about, right? I'm trying to get ready so I can show some show people how to work with the SCOBYs. That's on another video. You got to go to my gun roll site for that. What we're going to be talking about today is how your feelings are stopping you from moving to greatness. How you trying to think yourself to greatness is not working, right? Why is not working, right? That's what we're going to talk about today. So join us on the show. Make sure you got your glass for the toast, right? Let's get it. Oh, of course, my babies is especially Miss Sasha is starring in this one. All right, peace. Hey, tap, brother. So, um, bring them out, 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 bring them out. All right, it's time for us to get hydrated, family. Get your water, get your water out. You got some water, Sash? Mm -hmm. You need help? Yep. Okay. I'm almost out of my chloro oxygen. We experiment, still experiment with the chloro oxygen. You know what I'm saying? But first, it's important that we as family make sure that we stay hydrated. Text somebody in your life right now and tell them stay hydrated. Hey, I want to tell him to stay hydrated. Tell him. Stay hydrated. The first 16 ounces is down. I'm knocking, knocking it out. All right. Take the last little bit of chloroxygen. I'm going to do a little piece on the chloroxygen. Let y'all know what I think about it. You used it all. I used it all. It's done. The chloroxygen is done. So we're gonna have to do a show on the chloroxygen. I still gotta close out at least hey, the first I half. No, you didn't. Okay. No, you didn't. Y'all never finish it. So I'm gonna finish the chloroxygen and I'm gonna be doing the write up and I'm talking about it on on the on one of my shows about how um, it affected me. Man, I should did my hair first, right? Why right, yeah. blame? Coconut oil, and we're gonna swallow it first. All right, all right. Uh, message me. I may be in Columbus today. All right, cool, sir. Cool. Um, all right. Hopefully, I can see you. No, you can't. 
Oh, little girl style. Finish drinking. So today we're going to toast. I need to make sure that y'all remember how to open the Ambrosia bottles. You always need to have a second jet dairy First cup. First need to use this. Hold on, hold on, Sasha. We got to have a secondary cup because it's alive. It's a living drink. Also, when you get them, if you get them, refrigerate them or put them in a cool place because they will blow up. And let me say that again. Can I be? Can you be quiet for one second? One second, right? The bottles will blow up. Now, I'm saying that to say I do not kill the living organisms in them because that is what you need. But you have to make sure that you keep them refrigerated, or there's a possibility there's going to be an explosion. Hell, maybe an explosion if you put it in the refrigerator. This is a lie. It's a living product. All right. So now, when you open it, you need to only crease it just a little bit and let it flow. Now they ain't all gonna do like that, but they may because it's a living organism. I'm trying to tell y'all, I got the real and living. This 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 is actual ambrosia, food of the gods. Well, you can't. You have to wait for it to slow down. So now we got that one now. So also, I got my ginseng. So I'm going to be ginseng. drinking a little ginseng. I'm not going to give this to her because this one is mature. Now, for those who like um, drinking strong drinks, this is one of the ones. And also, you let your um, ambrosia get a little bit old and let it air out. So I'm not going to give her... First, you need to make this. No, first you need to go get the live root. I'm doing the live root one. This one is real good for a lot of things. You know, look up the ginseng root, right? But I got this great one because my baby, get all right here, because my baby's gonna be toasted with me and she she ain't gonna be able to handle this ginseng. Go ahead, boom, she got it up, all right. So, now, she gonna drink the grape. This is the grape. That's enough, that's enough. Y'all see how y'all see that? Look at that. Look, Look at them bubbles. Is. Now, this is what happens when you put it in the little dark bottles and let it carbonate. It, it, it carbonates itself. Nice and sparkly. If you look in there, you can see the sparkles. Alright. Boom. I see the sparkles. Alright, so I got the ginseng, my baby got the grape. We're gonna toast our creator. By whatever name you choose to call that creator, we call on that great power, the center of the universe, the center of the multiverses, or whatever you want to call it, however you see it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no confusion, no no arguments on my channel about that. What we want to do is we want to salute that creator, we want to ask that power to be with us, and we say what, baby? Our shade. That's right. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. And, of course, you got an ancestor you want to say, right? Yeah. We're going to salute it. Go ahead. Say that ancestor. Who is it? People. All right. We salute our people, right? My people, right? It's my people. It's my people. It's mine, actually. It's mine, actually. It's my people. It's mine. My people. My it's my people. It's my people. All right. Well, who, okay. Who else? You got another name you want to salute? Mm, grandma. Well, your grandma's not dead, and if she see this, she's going to be awful upset because you toasting her when we toasting ancestors. So if anybody know her grandmother, you know what I'm saying, call her and let her know that her granddaughter is toasting her as an ancestor. We got Wallace Wright Jr. We toast Rock Wallace Wright Jr., who else? We got any other names? Uh, no. Okay, cool. So I'm going to run through my family line. But family, I suggest, this is just a suggestion, but I suggest that you learn your family line. We have a Eugenia <laughs> McGuire. We got a Eugenia McGuire. Hold on, baby. We got Eugenia McGuire. We got Joan Woods. Excuse me. We still toasting, baby. Now, if you can't handle it, and you go downstairs, go grab your glass and stay focused. Uh, 
Joan Woods. Right? Yes. Okay, cool. This is coming off this coming machine. See people posting up the names? That's your Uncle Sa right there. He posting up names. You might get to meet him today. All right, hold on. So now we're going to do our family line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Texas, Anna Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Chris Fanny Gasson. Right? No. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, my Aunt Alvira, Alvira Brown, Gina, my Aunt Gina, uh, Jamon Jones, John Fillard, uh, Normal X, uh, Montague Pittman they Nail. Oh, they typing our names. We got Mama Taylor. We got Morning. Oh, uh, good morning, uh, Russell. Check. Philangus. Check. Right. Yes. All right. So, um, who else? You see any other names pop up? No. No, no sir. Stand down. Uh, uh. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. So uh, we salute our ancestors. Yes. We salute our ancestors. With that, we say. Ashe. Ashe. From there, we move on to our children. We salute our children. We toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity, right? Yes. Because everything we think, say, and do affects them. So whatever we're doing, we got to I make sure we build it. down there. Okay. What, whatever we doing, we got to make sure that we keep our children in mind as we're doing it. So as we're working in politics, we got to understand that we're dealing with our children's future. As we're working in economics, we've got to understand that we're, 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 we're um, working with our children's um, future. You know what I'm saying? When we're doing sciences, when we're doing whatever we're doing, we got to realize that we're making deals for our children. So we pour for them and we say, oh, I say, last but not least, we toast this moment. I forgot to toast this moment. We toast this moment. Today is faith. So we're going to toast it and we say, I say, I say, I say, I say, right. Last but not least, we toast you for joining us, and we say, Ashe. 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 We wish y'all peace, power, joy, Facebook. and 100 years. All right? Yeah. Now drink up. Drink up. It's too sour in here, but it still it's tastes good. You said it's sour? Mm -hmm. Let me taste that. Okay. It's strong too. Girl, that is not strong. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not strong to me. I mean, you know, I, you know, you still a baby. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you sitting up here making faces while you drinking the ambrosia. You must be a baby. Give me that. You can't handle it. Uh -uh. This is my ambrosia, not yours. Well, I mean, you said it was sour. You can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. You take care. Mm. All right, be sure to join us on YouTube today. Hopefully, I'll have the show done and up by 12. Today, we're going to talk about how your feelings are stop you from moving to greatness. Some of y'all trying to feel your way to greatness, and you can't do that. All right, so we're going to talk about that. So, Facebook, we want to say peace. And don't cuss on them. Oh, okay. I can't help it, baby. Okay, peace, y'all. Peace. Peace, Facebook. Uh, si, hit me up. Oh, all right, y'all. So we about to uh, move forward. Me and my daughter, we gonna finish this little bottle of ambrosia, mm -hmm. and when we come back, we'll get right into the show. And we're going for a walk. All right. So my daughter want to do the palm oil. We gotta do the palm oil. You know, we do a little bit daily. Good with those beta carotenes, antioxidant. But it looks like we don't have none. Oh, there you go. Looks like we don't have a lot, Sash. It does, because you have a lot. Here. Ah. Alright. That's some for me. Alright. 
Alright, there we go. We also got our coconut oil. I told them that first. You told them that first? Yeah. Alright. Don't cough it off of me anymore. Okay. Don't a spoon. Where's the paper? I don't know. Here. Just here. Don't worry about it. Okay. So oil is all going to the same spot. Here. Now, we're going to be talking about some stuff and the coconut oil is going to pop up again. You're going to see how powerful this coconut oil is. I just swallowed it. Mm-hmm. All right. On to what we're going to talk about today because I got to make another video just for all those that who are subscribed to us on Gumroad as well as on our website at giamijourney.com. I got a new fidget Because I got to start today. showing people. I gotta start showing people how to work with these scovies because some people is like, hey man, I like the idea of ambrosia, but I don't wanna buy the ambrosia. I wanna make my own. They can't make their own ambrosia, but they can make their own June. So I'm gonna show you how to work with a scoby. Um, but that'll be on going to the people that subscribe to us on the, through the gum road and through through our website, right? So now what we wanna talk about is feeling our way to greatness. You about to go downstairs? You can take the tablet. You want to take the tablet? Yeah. All right. Excuse right. us. I'm going to be back in a minute. No, take the, t take the tablet. And feeling our way to greatness. All right. <sighs> Family, it is so incompatible. I Listen. It's like, I can't even express it at this point. Listen, feeling in your way to greatness don't work. It don't work. Listen, let me sit back down. We have to think about this, right? A lot of us are being hindered because we don't feel like it. Right? We're using our feelings as not just a guidance system, but as a motivational uh, as a motivational system that will never work towards our benefit. Because we will never feel like doing what the hell we need to do in order to get to where we need to be. Oftentimes, we got to do it in spite of how we feel about it. Right? A lot of us is trying to feel our way and think our way to greatness when we got to act our way and do our way to greatness. Right. We got to let push the feelings to the side. We got to push the thoughts to the side and we got to do it regardless. All right. Listen, family, the only thing that's holding us back, the only thing that's holding you back from being the greatest of all time. Is you doing it regardless of how you feel about it. Listen, when I was in college, I never felt like studying. When I played football, I never felt like practicing. When I was doing martial arts, I never felt like stretching. But I had to. And what those what, what martial arts, football, and college taught me was that regardless of how I felt about something, regardless of how I felt about doing something, oftentimes I had to do it regardless. Right? We want to feel our way to greatness. We want to we want to wait till we feel like doing stuff. But oftentimes us waiting for us to feel like doing it is the biggest hindrance to us being able to do it. Right? We got to act as if and move and do what we are uncomfortable doing. I know that's not I know I know for a lot of y'all that's problematic, right? Because your whole life you've been taught you have the freedom to be able to do what you like. America is beautiful in that way, but in the same instance, it's very crippling. You cripple yourself because you want to wait till you feel like doing something. You have that luxury, but you are competing. You will be in, we're moving into a global market and we all are going to be competing against people who are going to do things because they don't have a choice and they are going to be hungry 
and they are going to be ready to fight. They're going to be ready to go to war for their idea of success, family. And you have to be willing to do the same thing. Do you understand? Because you're not always going to feel like getting up early. I don't feel like getting up at, at 3.30 to get ready so that I could do my uh, daily toast five days a week so that I could have time to at least get to work, send my own time on when I get to work, you know what I'm saying, or get to my adventure. You understand what I'm saying? I don't feel like doing that. All the time. Sometimes I'm hyped. Other times y'all can see my energy below. But I do it regardless of how I feel about it at that time. I, you know, sometimes I don't feel like not going the whole day without eating. So, and most of the days I'm doing it. But I'm not doing it because I feel like doing it. I'm doing it because I made a commitment to myself and I made a commitment to y'all. So that I could go on and tell you stuff like, you know what? When you start your intermittent fasting... Right, and you struggle through it, you really start seeing and feeling the connection between what you eat and how you feel. See, we're eating so much that we can't really monitor how we're feeling. But when you start limiting the times of when you're eating, you really get to see the connection between what you eat and how you feel. And I know y'all like, oh, brother, how tell me you know that? But a lot of y'all don't feel that. You don't get to experience that because you're eating so goddamn much. You don't know. You really don't. You know what I'm saying? I never realized how connected, how I feel, and what I'm feeling and what I'm going through is connected to what I eat until I stop eating as much, right? And I start restricting when I eat to a certain time. But that only came, that didn't come because I did it because I felt like it. I did it because I made a pledge to y'all. I did it because I said I'm going to go on and experiment with this because I think it's something that should be good. And I think it's something that people within my circle should be doing. So I need to go and do it first. Right? Fuck how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your feelings. I'm just being honest with you. Fuck your feelings when it comes to doing actions. Fuck your feelings, family. You got to get into doing it regardless. See, Liberation is not about see because if we wait, listen, in Haiti, if they would have waited until they felt like doing the shit, the revolution would never happen. If Nat Turner would have waited till how he felt about the shit, it would have never happened. Then Mark Vesey, if he would have waited, it would have never happened. Marcus Garvey, if he'd have waited till it would felt right until he felt like doing the shit, it would have never happened. Booker T. Washington, we wouldn't have a Tuskegee in this institute if he just waited for how he felt. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. If I mean, let's let's keep it real. Martin Luther King, um, you think he felt like going through that shit all the time? You think he felt like doing what he did? No, no, it wasn't about feeling. It was something that needed to be done. And he got up and he did it regardless of how he felt about it. You know what I'm saying? He had to teach himself to feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, honestly, do you think that Martin Luther King wanted to be hit in the head? Do you think Martin Luther King wanted to be stabbed? Do you think he wanted to go to jail? He felt like going to jail, but he did it because he had to. He had to do something. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't his feelings that made that happen. How about how about Malcolm X? Do you think Malcolm X felt like doing that shit all the time? You know what I'm saying? Do you think he felt like studying all the time? Do you think he felt like reading the, the fucking dictionary? You know what I'm saying? Do you think he felt like changing his life? Family, your feelings are keeping you stuck. You waiting to feel like doing something is keeping you stuck. You waiting to feel like you want to study is keeping you stuck. You feel you you waiting to feel like you want to correct your diet is keeping you stuck. You want you 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 you're waiting to feel like you want to change your life is keeping you stuck. You waiting to feel like you want to be free is keeping you stuck. You know what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And if you're waiting to feel like doing that, you are tricking yourself. You're going to stay stuck forever. Forever and ever. You're going to be stuck because you'll never feel like doing it. You'll never feel like working out. 
You'll never feel like putting down that extra sandwich. You'll never feel like it. I got people all the time telling me, man, I just, I'm waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> Shit never comes. Take it from a 49-year-old. The, the feeling like doing it will never come. You have to, you have to make it happen, fam. So, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to listen. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. Oh, family, please pay attention to what I did yesterday, right? We talked, I talked about our social responsibility. Like and share. God damn it, share. You know what I'm saying? If it's good, if it's good to you, share. I know you don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? You're waiting to feel like sharing my shit. Share, god damn it. Find other good art artists out there as well and share. You know what I'm saying? This is the only way we're going to spread. We got this this beautiful weapon called the internet. We got this social media piece. We have the ability to share with thousands of people. You know what I'm saying? My thousand plus your thousand plus his thousand plus her thousand plus that one mixed up individuals thousand and thousands and thousands and thousands all equal millions and billions of people out there right let's start sharing you know what I'm saying because when I see something good I'm putting it on my timeline when I see something that is uh, moving my people towards growth and power regardless of who is by I'm sharing when I see something positive sharing. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm seeing that 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 ratchet stupid I'm moving right past. It, right? You know what I'm saying? I might watch it for a second, but I'm not sharing that shit. I'm sharing stuff that's uplifting and growing, right? You know, even though I don't feel like it. Sometimes push the share button even when you don't feel like it. Right, especially if this if it's positive information. Stop trying to hog. I I don't know I don't know what you are hogging. You know what I'm saying? This this information for right? It's meant to be shared. You know, it's it's nothing wrong with your friends being as smart as you. I, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But hey, this brother I tell him, hey, one of my kids coming. I'm about to go. Ah, uh, here she come. It's Miss Sasha Mosh. Aren't we going for a walk? We're going for a walk. We're going to go to the woods. Yeah. I hope you washed your face before you came and got up here. Um, she did it. No, oh, I ain't talking about her right now. I'm talking about huh? she already been on camera. All right, so y'all say peace. Peace, peace y'all. We love you. We're going to the woods? Yeah, I'm going to go to the woods today. I need Three to cut up your video first. I want to bring my fidgets. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.